And welcome to Budapest. All right, well, good morning from uh, beautiful Budapest here in Hungary. Um, you can see it's a nice sunny day here. I uh, just arrived yesterday. If you were watching the last video, then you know that we spent some time in Croatia, um, in Dubrovnik, up along the coast, and uh, the Plavice National Park there. Um, spent some time in Zagreb just one night, but now uh, coming on over to uh, Budapest for a few days where uh, hopefully I can get some more good pictures and see what we can come up with. Now, I was here last year, and um, I never got a chance to get to it, but uh, there's a Zwak Museum. Uh, if you're not familiar, uh, Zwak being my last name, there's also a Hungarian herbal liqueur uh, called Zwak that's pretty popular out here as well. So we're gonna go down there and um, check out the museum and distillery, maybe see if uh, I'm related to any of these folks, or maybe I'm entitled to some uh, royalties that I'm not sure of, but Anyway, we're going to have some fun um, and learn a little bit about uh, the history of Zwak and um, see if I'm related in any way. But uh, lots to come in the next couple days, so uh, we'll have to see what kind of uh, fun we can get into here. There's a lot of different places that uh, I can get some pictures at, so um, I think uh, there's what the, the Fisherman's uh, Bastion, there's uh, the Chain Bridge, there's a beautiful Parliament building, a couple different parks, uh, giant, uh, I think, St. Stephen uh, Basilica. Um, lots of different beautiful architecture and things like that so hopefully over the next couple days I'll get some good pictures as well but for now uh, first things first we gotta go uh, go to the Zwak Museum so let's go see what that's all about So we just finished the Zwak tour here at the distillery. We saw the distillery um, where they age a lot of the Unicum. Um, there's actually three different brands. There's a plum, there's a regular, and there's like a citrus kind of version. Uh, right now we're just in the uh, uh, museum here where they got all kinds of Zwak artifacts from over the, over the years. Um, a very long history. Um, starting from the 1790s, I believe, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. So, I've uh, been around for quite a long time. A very popular drink here in Hungary. I'm going to keep taking a little bit, look around. It's kind of fascinating to uh, hear a little bit about my history and everything like that. Um, World War II and everything like that. There's, um, it's been a long, long journey, but um, they're doing pretty well out here in Hungary. So, I'm happy to see that and uh, we're going to keep looking around.
just finishing up outside the Zwak Museum. Learned a lot about uh, the local beverage here and it's a uh, long history. They didn't, uh, I did let them know I was a Zwak, but uh, I guess that wasn't enough for them to divulge the secret recipe with me. So I guess I'll just have to wait on that one. But um, other than that, a uh, pretty good afternoon. For a little bit of uh, a late lunch here at a Turkish cafe that we found along the way. Not 100% sure what I all got here, but I know I got some grape leaf stuff here, uh, some baklava, rice, and some sort of Mediterranean, I don't know, burrito type thing. So uh, it should taste pretty good. So up next is uh, Fisherman's Bastion. Uh, the light's just starting to get over the buildings here, so I should be able to get some nice light for a couple shots here. First, we are on the chain bridge during the day here, uh, overlooking the Danube. And then, of course, the Bastion's gonna be just up on the hill over here.